Oh, welcome back to Bipolar Disorder. My name is Adam. This is my beautiful wife, Katrina. Um, if you like the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 10K by February. That's my next unachievable goal. We'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see if it's un unachievable. We'll see. All right. So tonight, we're going to react to a video by... <clears throat> Uh, Russell Peters. We've gotten a lot of requests for Russell Peters. Mm -hmm. I know I know who he is. I've heard the name, but I'm, it's one of, it's one of those comedians I just never got into. I never really gave him a chance. Yeah, let's see. So we're gonna give him a chance tonight, and we'll see. Hopefully, he's funny to us. He's obviously funny to someone. My daughter's pretty smart. I uh, I'm impressed by her. She's only two, and she's already speaking Spanish and English, which is impressive to me. I wanted her to learn Spanish first because first of all, she's half. Latina and and we live in California, so you know I wanted to at least know the language of California <laughs> Spanish is a very helpful language in California I mean you go to a restaurant you want your car back from ballet you want to know like what to say you know what I mean so <laughs> So you know what I did I told my ex-wife's family uh, they're from Ecuador I said do me a favor please only speak to the baby in Spanish they were like, no problem. <laughs> hey, do you want us to teach her English too? <laughs> nah, I got this. <laughs> Last thing I want is my daughter being born in America and sounding like an immigrant, you know? <laughs> Dada, Jew coming over? <laughs> no, sweetheart, no Jews are coming over. <laughs> Not unless my agent calls. <laughs> And when you do have kids, trust me on this one. Buy your children, buy your babies, buy them educational toys. Best thing you could do. Because they start learning really young. I bought my daughter this toy, and you push the color, and it says the color. You, it'll push it, and it'll be like, it'll push yellow, and it'll be like, yellow, green, blue. <laughs> but the cool thing in America is all the educational toys have a switch from English to Spanish. I flicked all her toys to Spanish. Now I'm learning Spanish, too. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who's thinking I am? Now when she pushes it, it goes, Amarillo, verde, azul. Now I know how to say yellow, green, and blue in Spanish, but only like an opera singer. <laughs> Let me tell you where this backfired on me. <laughs> A few weeks ago, I was in LA. I needed some yellow paint. I went to Home Depot and... Uh, I walked in and there was a Mexican guy working inside. <laughs> inside Home Depot. So that's progress. Thank you, Mr. Obama. And uh, I knew he was Mexican. First of all, it's LA. Secondly, his back was facing me. He was 5'4", had a giant head. There's no neck. It looked like a, a rock'em sock'em robot that hadn't been punched in the stomach. And it, ding. He turned around, his name was Juan, you know what I mean? And Juan, and he had the little Mexico flag right there. And when I see people and I can tell what their comfort language is, I always like to try and greet them in that language uh, for two reasons. So that way, first, they think I speak their bullshit, and that way they won't try and rip me off. And secondly, you know, I just, it, it, it just it makes them feel comfortable right away. And when I do say something in your language, I try to say it the best way I can so you really believe I speak your language. But the minute you reply, I get all fucked up, because I've run out of words. <laughs> So I see him and I go, Hola Juan, como estamos hoy? He's like, Hola, para la gato, 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 para See, mira. And he holds up uh, gray and white and shades of gray and shades of white. And I'm like, no, 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 yellow. See, mira, yellow. No, Juan, that's gray and white and shades of gray and shades of white. No, just say yellow, mira, yellow, yellow. No, no, that's not yellow, yellow. That's fucking gray and white, Juan. <laughs> yellow, mira, yellow, ice, ice. I don't care what your favorite song is right now. I just, <laughs> I just want yellow paint. See, mira, yellow, ice, ice. I didn't know that yellow meant ice in Spanish. I didn't know that. That's not on the toy. 
So I get in this big argument with the guy. I'm like, no, not fucking ice, Juan. Yellow. See, mira, yellow. Stop saying mira, yellow. This is not yellow. Mira, yellow, ice. Stop saying yellow ice. I don't want yellow ice. That's disgusting, first of all. I just want yellow. Mira, yellow. Stop saying mira, yellow. Yellow, yellow. No say. No say. Stop fucking. What do you say then? No say. No say. Amarillo. Turns out he had the same toy at home. He goes, oh, you mean yellow? What'd you think? I thought that was I thought that was funny. And one the first thing I noticed he has a great bone structure and a very nice smile. He's attractive. Um, I would say there's different kinds of comedians for different kinds of people. Mm -hmm. um, I want to be very fair about this. He was funny. I think he has a very, he has a large appeal. He's a very kind of likable type of comedian. Mm -hmm. This is first reactions, first time I've seen yeah. his stand up. Yeah, just for a little so bit. I, I could be wrong. And we'll watch more of his mm -hmm. to get more context. But um, for me personally, look, I'm on. I love the Lewis Blacks, the Bill Burrs. I love the angry comedians, mm -hmm. the people that are, uh, have like kind of that dark comedy. I'm not so much into the everyday. Hey, well, what's that Bill Burr? Like, hey, I got a computer today. Kind of, yeah. kind mm -hmm. of, kind of comedy. Mm -hmm. um, I like kind of the darker, angrier humor. Yeah, that's just me personally. But like I said, I can fully understand. Look. He's doing something right. Did you see that stadium? Was that like a football stadium? Yes. That was unbelievable. All credit in the world. If you can sell that out, look, my opinion means nothing when you're selling out football stadiums. Well, that and that just incredible. goes to show that there's different people that like different things. Exactly. Yeah. If everyone was into the same thing, this world would be very boring. I liked it, though. You, good. You I know? really did. And, and uh, if you have any bits that you think are specifically more funny than that, uh, send them our way and we'll try to get to them. All right, guys. Well, take care. If you like uh, our channel, please hit that subscribe button and we will be back very soon. Take care. Bye.